Hello there. Welcome to another video. I'm starting this one off today in Abergavenny. My plan is to cycle up to Hay on Wye, which is roughly 22 miles. Google says it'll take two and a quarter hours thereabouts. I'm going to guess it's going to take about five. Average speed of about four miles an hour. Let's kick things off. I've got my coffee and here is the beginning of Route 42. I've street viewed uh, most of this as a preview to see where I'm going. And it's roughly 1,800 feet climb. So this is going to be a very slow and steady little journey. such a beautiful day. There's hardly any wind. I'm going to be exhausted long before I even get halfway. Uh, but it's the challenge. I'm barely a mile out of town. And I'm struggling already. briefly catch my breath again and have a look at this old petrol pump. I wonder if I, uh... yeah, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I love that. That is dated. <laughs> I love things like that. Little remnants of the past. Quick break, swap batteries over, start again. Bit of food, sandwich, bit of fruit, chocolate. Loads of cyclists out here today, which is encouraging. Uh, but I haven't seen 
a single cyclist with any luggage. No bags, no rucksacks. Every single one of them has been a lycra clad racer. <laughs> Which is fair enough. I wouldn't want to be doing this route with those horrible thin tires. Yeah, as you can tell from me, from the camera, it's quite uh, jittery all over the place. This surface is terrible. They were at the pub just now. <laughs> I'm a little bit jealous of them, to be fair. If I had a, a nice bike like that, loads of storage capacity, I'd be out all the time. Hello, sheepy. <laughs> yeah, that kind of partly explains why you've not seen me for a couple of months. The last video was sometime in February. And uh, it rained almost non-stop from the end of February. Well, actually it's rained almost non-stop since last October. Exactly. And even though we've had three or four days of wonderful weather, well overdue, the ground is still utterly saturated. It's only about 20 or 30 minutes on a train from where I live to somewhere relatively remote. So I can't really blame the lack of a car for why I haven't gone out camping. But I think with the weather being just so crap, I lost interest. And there's plenty of channels like Ben, Ben's Hikes and Camps. <laughs> there's plenty of people like Ben who are willing to brave that mud for mile after mile. <laughs> and fair play to him. That's not me. I've done that enough times in my life already, long before I had a camping channel. That's no fun for me, to be honest, so why bother? I want to do the channel for things I enjoy doing. I'm going to stop here briefly, catch my breath, swap batteries again.
Thank you very much. Cheers, buddy. Have a good day. Cheers. Right. Yes, buddy. All right. So we'll have half a double dragon, please. Half a double dragon. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. That would go. That would definitely go. That's not the issue. Back on the road again. Well, that was eventful. Time for another break. Probably about the 15th one I've had. So again, I've uh, massively overestimated my ability to get up this hill quickly. I've uh, been going uphill now for about oh, 14 miles nearly, I think. And the fact that this lane has just gotten progressively steeper and steeper in a shorter space of time tells me it's not too far now. So steep you can't even see the road going down. <laughs> I couldn't camp up here if I wanted to. Too many, oh, way too many sheep. And they'll be very protective of the lambs.
Yes. Made it to Gospel Pass. 14 and a half miles from Abu Gaveni. It's a bit windy up here and I don't have the uh, dead cat on uh, the mic, so hopefully you can hear me okay. Surely it's got to be better than my previous videos anyway. As far as I know, it's downhill all the way from here. Six miles left. Was it worth it? Yeah. For the views, absolutely it was worth it. So my plan has changed slightly. I was hoping to have some time in the bookshops this afternoon and tomorrow. And by about three o'clock tomorrow afternoon is going to be chucking it down, I think, according to the weather. Oh well, figure it out later. Oh, I'll uh, put the camera back on the bike for the journey back. Take it from there. Hmm. As much as I'm enjoying not having to cycle anymore <clears throat> today, well, not much anyway. Uh, I am a little bit worried about how difficult it's going to be making my way back up here tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to enjoy this. open a can. So we got 
Solar Gaze and Siren Lumina. I love that pretty can. Shiny, shiny. Six and a half percent. 4.2. Let's have a 4.2 first. I don't know if you can see how red I am, even with factor 50 on. Just get some cutlery. I've got loads of potatoes here. Always too much food. This is why I'm fat. At least it's healthy. Yeah, that's plenty. I've been snacking all day. There's no reason for me to be hungry. Come on, stay lit. That's fine. Every time I do it, it'll uh, heat the uh, fuel up a little bit more. Okay, I think we're we got it going now. I'd love to give you a little tour of the campsite, but everybody's outside of their tents and caravans. So I might do it in the morning, first thing, you know, before everyone else wakes up. I'd say they're well done, but I'm happy to let them simmer for a while. And my veg is looking good. I had to put the hat back on, partly because it's getting quite cold and these insects keep trying to bite me. leaving my arms alone at the moment, but they kept buzzing around my head. Time to get the gravy in. I think I'll eat this in the tent. So, I'll get the gravy in. I'll take everything in the tent, make sure there's no bugs in there. Set the camera back up in there. Get out of it. I'm gonna smack him with a plate if I can. Now I just 
feel wiped out. Uh, so no sleeping bag, which means it's going to be a bit, a bit of a rough night. Could be worse. Yeah, give it an hour. Go and have a shower. And I'll see you in a bit once I've uh, cleaned up a bit and uh, cleaned myself up too. <sighs> Should have gone to bed hours ago, but everyone else was really active. And I just didn't feel comfortable cooking and getting showered and changed until they'd all done their thing and gone to bed. Gotta say, the facilities here are excellent. The best campsite I've ever been at so far. Clean toilets, bright lights, hot water, it was fantastic. 50p it cost. Just popped it in the machine and boom, shower came on straight away. Hot, straight away. For now, I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Night.